Welcome back everyone. We're going to continue our heavy cut compound contest and the next one up is actually the most requested. It is the Meguiar's 105 Ultra Cut Compound. Let's take a look at that right now. You can purchase Meg's 105 just about anywhere and depending where you get it, it ranges $20, 21 $22. But that's for 32 ounces compared to, I believe it was the last one, was 20 bucks for 8 ounces. So, if this works out and cuts, it's a good buy. Our testing is going to be exactly the same as our previous videos on the heavy cut compounds. We're going to section off some areas. We're going to make sanding marks with 2500 grit. And we're going to go all the way down to 800 grit. The next section, 2000 grit. The next section, 1500 grit. The next section and where all of them start to fail, the 1000 grit. And finally, the last section, 800 grit. And we haven't had a compound yet that's been successful in this area, but who knows, we'll see. All right, we're ready. We're going to use the exact same polisher as the other videos, the Flex XFE 712 83-inch polisher. And we have a standard cookie cutter orange cutting pad. We're going to put three pearl-sized dots of the product onto the pad, spread it out, and get this test going. When the product is spread out evenly, we're going to take one run all the way down through all those sections to the end. And we're going to make a return pass. We're going to use the exact same speed, the exact same pressure, the exact same tool speed as all the other tests. We're going to see how it handles all of those sections with the different sanding marks. After that pass, we're going to see how the spent compound is to remove. Is it hard to remove? Is it easy with a microfiber? We're going to check and inspect each section, see where, if any, the MEGS 105 compound had trouble. Uh, it's been a standard practice that they've, they've all had trouble entering the 1000 grit sanding, uh, sanding mark area and really not much success in the 800 grit, but we'll see. Besides cut, we're also going to take a look at dusting and we're going to get the right angle with the light and see if there's a lot of hazing left behind or how far the cutting compound gets you to a finish. Like before, we're going to follow up with a secondary test down at the 800 grit and the 1000 grit sections. We're going to work on checking how open the product is or how long the working time is for it. We're going to check dusting and after the abrasives are completely broken down we'll wipe off the residue and see how it's done on those two sections with the harsh sanding marks.
That's going to do it. Let me get the polisher out of the way. Then we'll remove the residue. That's also going to be taken into consideration. We take everything into consideration before ranking all these polishes. Now to take note, this is one of the hardest residues to remove from all of the compounds we've tested so far. However, let's come in and take a look and see how it performed at cutting. All right, starting with the 2500 grit, no problem. Also blew right through the sanding marks from the 2000 grit. To the next section, 1500 grit, not much of a struggle there. The next section, 1000 grit, started to get a little weaker there, but actually did a very good job. Only a few deep gashes left in that section. And finally, the unforgiving section with the 800 grit marks. It was a great attempt. They all have a little bit of trouble, but it did well here. I'll go back over to the 1000 grit section and get the right angle so you can see. There's a few scuffs left there. It didn't, uh, didn't get it perfect, but a very, very good job. And then for this angle here, we're, we're going to check out and see if there's any hazing left over. It actually finished half decent. Maybe an ultra cut compound would finish this up, some kind of a polish. So we're going to move on to the last part of the test here. We're going to see how long we can work the product see what kind of dusting is left behind, and see if we can remove any or all of those marks left in the last two sections, the 1000 and the 800 grit section. This little section, this test here, is what keeps Ardex holding the top spot so far. It's real early. This may not last. But when we did this with the Ardex, it did a very good job removing the 1000 grit marks and just left a few of the 800 grit uh, deep gashes behind. So we'll see if uh, this acts the same way. And if you remember our runner up, the Car Pro Clear Cut, which is right there with it, it didn't quite take as many of the marks off the last two sections for this test here but it did finish a little further it would only need a light polish to finish it off from where the car pro left it so that's going to leave it a close second very little dusting long working time easy to remove the spent product to briefly go over what's rounding out the podium that was the adams heavy cut compound now, that did a good job and has a long working time with very little dusting. However, the price at $20 for 8 ounces really holds this product back, I believe. All right, that's going to do it. We finished our crisscross pattern. Let's remove the residue. Give me a second to grab the camera. We'll come in close and see how it has performed on these uh, two harsh sections here. Although not quite the power of the Ardex, it's done a good job and it's done a good enough job to edge itself into the podium. Now, it, it doesn't have quite the power and it has a little bit of dusting, but I believe if you add a quality QED into the equation, put a couple squirts into it while you're working it, it will control that dusting a bit and make the product even better. 
Guys, absolutely everything is taken into consideration with this. The price, how it cuts, does it dust, it's working time, how hard is it to wipe off the spent residue. So as of now, we had the megs coming in and edging off atoms off the uh, metals podium. We have a lot more to go and it's going to change drastically. I can tell you that right now. But what we have so far on the metals podium is Ardex holding on the gold right below that. It's, they're, they're very close, is the Car Pro clear cut. And then we have Megs coming in, taking the bronze so far. Again, this is gonna change drastically. It's early on, we have a ton to test. Brian from Apex Detail, if you have any questions about any of these, let me know. Catch you in the next video.